he spoke to Mike Florio after the game. Yeah, he told me that for the game that ended 3:15 Central Time, Coach Mike Vrabel gave them 45 entire minutes to celebrate. As of 4 o'clock, it was over because short week, Steelers coming up on Thursday night. And it was the bye week that helped Levis get ready for this. When he told me in some practices before their break, he was having a rough time. They came back. He got some reps with the one, and it all started to click for him, contributed to that performance we saw today. In the same game, Desmond Ritter, the Falcons' starting quarterback, did not return to the game in the second half. He was evaluated for concussion and cleared, but the team went with Taylor Heineke. After the game, Coach Arthur Smith said that it was not performance-related. There was just something that wasn't right with Desmond Ritter. So we'll see moving forward whether it's Ritter or Heineke. Okay. Yeah, it is a torn Achilles tendon. The MRI expected for Monday is just a formality. The Vikings are devastated by this. There was a thought that Kirk Cousins had been playing the very best football of his entire career. So what do they do now? Jaron Hall, the rookie from BYU, came in today, but Coach Kevin O'Connell did not commit to Hall moving forward. Nick Mullins is on injured reserve. He's got one more game before he can come back. Sean Mannion's on the practice squad. And keep an eye on Colt McCoy. He had three years with O'Connell in Washington. He was in for a workout recently. He's a guy they could add. Then there's a trade deadline. Two days away. Ryan Tannehill from the Titans, a name to possibly watch. Jacoby Brissett from the Commanders. And Vikings fans, remember one name out there, very favorably, Case Keenum, third-string quarterback of the Texans, maybe another Minneapolis miracle to come from Keenum down the road. And, Mike Florio, you had a chance to catch up with the winning QB, Zach Wilson. Yeah, and Zach Wilson said what everyone who watched that game was thinking. It was not good enough offensively. He said the key was to have a very short memory. Forget about the last play, move on to the next play, and it ultimately worked out. I asked him about that play that set up the game-winning field goal. What were you thinking? He said, I don't know what I was thinking. He possibly was going to run out of bounds. He saw Alan Lazard flash open. He got him the ball. I, ideally, they'd have 12 seconds to get everyone set up. That's what he told me. They didn't quite have 12. Everyone hustled down there, and he credited the offense for getting in position to get the clock stopped and the field goal kicked in that same game. Giants quarterback Tyrod Taylor starting the third straight time in place of Daniel Jones, who has a neck injury. He left with a rib cage injury, went to the hospital during the game, and the team says he will be staying overnight at the hospital. We'll have... Updates on that throughout the day on Monday. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.